Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and I hope all of you are doing great. So in today's video, I'll show you how you can make a chart database in Notion. So you can make a similar this kind of a chart database for your study purpose in Notion. And in this video, I'll teach you step by step how you can create a, a similar kind of a chart database. So why having a chart database is important is that you can study the past winners, right? So again, for you to be successful in the market you need to understand what you are actually looking for right so what are the characteristic of the stocks that have given huge returns in the past and to study that you need to have a database you need to have all those examples available in a single place although it is very time consuming and it requires effort but if you want to be a become a better trader then it is a must kind of thing that you have to do and here notion is a really nice platform where you can make notes and multiple other things and here you can create a this kind of a chart database which provides you almost all the information in a single glance and it's very easy to make and i'm going to show you how you can make a similar this kind of chart database in this video and i'll also share this the sample chart database that i that i have created uh, with you guys in the description okay so let's get started first what you will have to do is just search for notion right just search notion on google you can also download the app for the windows and for the android as well and just before that a small disclaimer any stock discussed here is not a, a recommendation please consult your financial advisor before taking any trade or making any investment right so once you go to notion you can just simply log in right and you can just simply log in and here what you'll do you have multiple things you have a private page you have a workspace favorites and multiple other kind of pages here what you'll do is just you'll go to and you'll select any folder <clears throat> and there you'll just create a new page right so you can create a folder as well there you can have multiple pages or you can just simply create a page as well right so we are making a chart database that is very similar to this one right so first we'll just type the name chart database right so this is a chart database and you can also uh, you, you know create uh, multiple pages here with multiple databases uh, for different years right then what you'll have to do is just go to here on these three dots and select the table right so first you'll require a table right so you have multiple kind uh, you know multiple rows and multiple columns and in the first row and column what you'll do is just simply add the stock name right so this is going to be your first column that is the stock name right and from here on this plus sign you can add multiple columns as many as you want right uh, second we have tags tags right so another interesting thing here is that you can have multiple kind of properties so that simply means what kind of data you need in a particular column right so you can have tax you can have number you can have select from multiple options you have a multi-select option you can add date you can add files and media checkbox url email and multiple there are multiple kind of options right so if you want to add something like this that i have added like this where you can just simply select the sector or setup and you can uh, you know have these uh, you know pre-made options right so for that what you'll have to do is just go to this tags right and here you can select you can type the name whatever you want to name that particular column sector and in edit properties what you are going to do is go to type and select the multi-select okay once you have done that here you can start adding options of multiple sectors uh, like we have fmcg as a sector then we have it we have pharma we have metals right uh, and we have fertilizers and we have many other sectors like we have banks right banks and financial sector right uh, and we have recycling right and we have agrochem agrochem right so you can just create multiple options here right and similarly what you what you are going to do is just select another right so select another uh, on this plus and then what you are going to you will get some suggestions here as well right 
so you can add the stock symbol market capitalization dividend yield whatever the uh, you know points you want to add again we'll go to multi-select and i'll name it as the setup right so because again uh, it will get easier for us to you know find the specific kind of setup right so again in options we have a big base breakout setup one of the setups that i trade big base breakout then we have inside bar then we have three week tightness you know and we have vcp which is a quite popular one then we have ipo base pivot point point breakout so this way what you can do is you can have multiple options and using those options you can uh, you know simply just select those kind of setups only again for your study right so i think so i forgot to you know uh, save it so i'm going to add the setups again right yeah so i forgot to name it right so i'm just going to go select setups right so what other uh, columns that we had uh, then we have charts right so you can just simply add the chart right here i have added the links or you can also add the physical uh, you know screenshot uh, you know that uh, screenshot as well directly uh, and i have added it in a link form right and then we have year what year uh, and a few more points that i have added here are time taken how many days the move lasted right from the entry point uh, uh, you know that desired entry point according to the setup and how many return how much return was generated and the remarks right so here you can add anything right in remarks or in how you could have traded the setup and or maybe if you have traded that particular stock or setup then what were the mistakes you made and there are multiple things that you can add in remarks right so going back to the chart database that we were building here what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, this option files and media and here i'll simply name it charts right simply name it charts then next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add year instead of this i'm going to select my mistake i'm going to select multi select option here and here we're gonna add year because again for that if we select the date and time so that will ask you about the date as well right so here then we had the uh, returns generated uh, you can simply add hashtag returns generated right and here in the type you can simply add the number right and in number what you can do is add it property in number you can simply add the percentage so you don't have to consult you know uh, convert it into percentage and here next in the next column you can add simply time taken right so time taken because again that is very important factor to consider you know, while you know looking at the stocks that how much uh, you know what kind of move they have given uh, so it's really important to uh, you know consider the time factor as well here you can just simply add the type text right simply time taken or maybe you can also add the maybe you can simply shift it to the number right that would be better right so let me remove these hashtags my bad right so these are returns generated and in last what you can do is you can add remarks here you can add all the information you want to add about any particular stock like what were your thoughts behind trading it or maybe if you haven't traded it uh, what could have been the entry point and all those kind of things right so how do we find the stocks that we want to add in the a list right so for that it will it will require a lot of uh, you know manual scanning as well and going through the past winner as well you can simply find those on twitter as well right or what you can do is if you want to study the winners of the recent time what you can do you can simply go to chart maze right you can simply go here you can go to custom scan what you can do after that is just go to the setting 
in this setting action just click on the setting action icon and here you can just select the range of how much minimum kind of return you are looking for the stock has given let's say uh, i am just looking for the stocks which have given 50 to 300 percent returns in the last three months and i'm excluding the circuit stocks and i'm excluding the asm list stocks as well right and in technicals what i can do i can either select the index let's say i just want to look at the stocks from the nifty 500 which have given between 50 to 300 percent returns in the last three months right so again you'll get a list of all the stocks what you can do after that is that you can go to the trading view see here you'll get the list of the stocks all the stocks that you're actually looking for which have given more uh, like from 50 to 300 percent returns in the last uh you know last three months you can also uh, go for the sending and descending right simply go to the charts and next thing what you're going to do here is that you are going to the trading view let me change the charts to candlestick because as most of you requested that i use candlesticks because again i'm very comfortable with the bar chart plus i don't even uh, have to color them in the red or green right so again i can simply have all the candles in a single color but i will understand the price section so that is kind of benefit of the uh, experience as well and uh, if you get used to reading the bar charts right so let's say the first stock that we had here was i think so deepak fertilizers so what i do is just i'll search deepak fertilizers right i'll simply select deepak fertilizers and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take all the information from here and I can, I'm going to paste that in my chart database, right? So this is the move we are talking about, the six month kind of a move. What I'll do, I'll simply here type the name of the stock, Deepak Fertilizers. Deepak Fertilizers sector is this from Fertilizers, right? So what I have to do, just, just select the that particular option right from the setup it was kind of a i think so it was kind of a big base breakout if i remember correctly right so this is coming out of a large base or if you want to add an option that is kind of a, a descending trend line or a reversal kind of setup so i can simply add those options as well i can add reversal option second one i can add is the trend line breakout right trend line breakout right simply right and for the charts what i can do is that i can go to the trading view i can mark the you know areas where the entry was where you could have taken entries right whatever the data points you want to mark in your charts and what i can do is i can add either press alt and s to copy the link of this particular chart right and then i can paste that in the uh, my chart database right i can uh, see link to the chart copied or i can simply click here and here what i'll do is just go for this copy link right uh, or maybe i can save the layout from this as well copy link or then what i'm gonna do here is that just i'm gonna click on this this particular section embed link and i'm gonna paste the chart here right so next time i want to see the chart i can just simply open it and i'll get the chart of that particular with that those particular marketing and i can simply launch it to the trading view as well or what you can do is that you can simply take the screenshot of this as well so alt shift s you can uh, take a screenshot my bad i think so it was control shift s right so control shift s you can take the screenshot of the this particular chart and here what will go when you'll hover over the name you'll get an option of open right so every single stock here has its own separate page created right so every single entry has its own you know page created here what you can do is simply add your chart you can add a comment you can add the time taken you can fill all the details here right so this one return generated so how to find how much return it generated so i can simply calculate it with the tool so it generated 71 percent in 69 days right so what i can simply do is that it generated 79 percent returns in 69 days as simple as that right rest i can what i can do is that uh, i can add the year as well right for that i can create a new option as well like 
this has happened in 2024 so i can simply add the 2024 options and here i can add the comment i can add another property if i want to right and i can write all the things i want to about this particular stock about this particular setup right so what is the benefit of creating it like this so here if you go so let's say you just want to look at uh, the particular kind of setup right you just want to you have created a very large database with more than 100 stocks or so and what you want to do is that you can simply want to look at all the stocks where there was a big base breakout so what i'll do i'll go to this option of filter right i can simply go to this option of filter uh, wait a second and here i can add a filter right so setups let's say if i want to just look at the particular kind of setups so i can add the filter of setups and i can select the big base right so here i am just getting all the stocks that have given a big base breakout so one more thing if you want to you know returns generated in this manner you want the uh, the column to be in this manner uh, which again looks uh, visually appealing what you can do is simply you can go to the return generated click there click on that and here edit property and you'll see this bar or you can have a ring as well right so whatever you like you can have either the number bar ring right so again you can add the bar here so again it's visually appealing nothing uh, no benefit another thing that you can do is that you can add the icon as well for your that particular page because again it looks good right so it looks good so let's say i want to add this kind of icon right another thing you can do is just click on this plus sign and you can have a gallery view as well so what you will have is that you will have all the entries and you have the charts here in this manner and you can simply click on that and it will open the page for that particular stock so again it it makes you works you know it makes you work very very easy and it's very very efficient but again it will uh, you know require some effort because again you will have to find the stocks manually right so let's say i want to add uh, another filter let's say i want to sort them by returns generated okay so what i can do is this simply i want to look at the stocks which have generated more than let's say 50 percent returns 50 percent returns i think so i've done something wrong right you can simply go here as well and you can simply sort from ascending descending manner as well or you can simply add a filter here as well right so i think so this is more than 50 percent returns i actually i'm looking for more than 50 percent returns right right so it's not working very well for some reason right but you get the point what i'm trying to say here right so this was it this is how you can create a small database here and i'll share this sample with you guys so you can uh, copy it maybe or you can just simply uh, take inspiration from this and create your own database and i hope you enjoyed the today's video and learned something new don't forget to like subscribe and share goodbye take care